That's picked up here by Dawson. Dawson up north, Melbourne up towards centre half forward. There's no more kicks. That's Malcolm Blight once again. Malcolm Blight has got the ball at centre half forward. 28 minutes gone. The crowd's gone mad. There's the sirens. The sirens. sirens gone. Now Blight will have to take his kick. Now Blight would have to kick this. Oh, he'd have to kick it 85, 90 metres. But he's going to have a kick, all right. It's not over yet. Not over yet. What drama here at Prince's Park. Malcolm Blight, it's a big kick. It's a mammoth kick. Malcolm Blight won it. Oh, oh that's incredible. He's gone to Paul Ruse, who couldn't take the mark. But Ruse tries to bottle it up. Now, Precious gonna seconds to hold it. Oh, 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 this is murder. Oh. Absolute murder. No, it's on, Peter. Oh, now they all come on. on. Jamison is going to take the ball. He's if, kicked two goals. If they win this game, it's been pinched. Absolutely stolen by... Um, well, it's going to be the last kick. kick of the day. Is he going the torpedo punt? No. The siren has gone. The siren has gone. This kick, if it's a goal, will win the match for the Crows from 47 it, metres. It'll make the distance. Oh, he's kicked it. They stolen it. It's a goal. Absolute murder. Absolute murder. Unbelievable finish. Oh. Well, the Crows supporters are absolutely jubilant. So time running out now. As Hawking sends Geelong down towards half forward. Good mark taken by Mitch. He's got to play on and they've got to take a mark. It's got to be Abbott or Brownlee. Oh, oh what a finish. Eight seconds left. If they catch a down. If he kicks a point, it'll be another time. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. The siren's going to sound. Oh. Oh. Now he's had big pressure. pressure. Well, he's had a rock and rolling season. Down and out. Can he finish it off with a goal? Billy, you are king of the oh, The monkey's off the back, Billy! Billy! Oh, Billy! Look at them! Look at those Geelong players! We're down to ten seconds. Colbert. And the mark is missed down there by Barnes. Right on the boundary line, Tudor. If he misses everything, Brisbane Lions have won. He kicks, and he goes! The Bunkers have won a thriller at Subiaco, and they come from everywhere. Discipline required here. Well, we have our second one-pointer for the weekend. 
Terrific stuff by Primus. He bursts it out. Low. Oh, yes, a ball! And this could win the game! Burgoy! <laughs> they trail by a point. This to win the game after the siren. Peter Burgoy, he's done it! <laughs> Chip plays on. Seconds only remaining. They've got to take a mark. Yeah! Dixon has taken a mark with five seconds remaining. The siren will go. What a spectacular comeback this would be too because Carlton did look to be cruising. They did. Dixon. Oh, with oh, eight dear. or nine Carlton players all around him on the mark. They look doing a war dance. This is crazy, he says. He shoots for goal. He kicks the goal and Hawthorne wins the game. Unbelievable scenes here at the MCG. Oh dear, what a finish. Well, we thought we were in for a pretty cold, old, boring Saturday night as he goes again. He's got Hall. Stevie Lord has put the pass to Hall. And Hall will have probably the last kick of the night. And it's the kick that can win the game for St Kilda. Hawthorne won a game after the siren. Now they could lose one after the siren. Steve Alessio. Ben Dixon. Will it be Batty Hall who make the trifecta? There's the siren. They've won just one game in the last 15. Hall to win the game for St Kilda from 38 metres out. He's kicked the goal. He's kicked the goal. The Saints have broken the drop. And Hawthorne could well be off to Adelaide to play in next week's final. And great to see the jubilation in the middle of the ground. Young kids that haven't had a victory. This would be their first victory in Innocent Gilda Jumper for many of them. And they've done it in outstanding fashion. Swans deep into attack. They trail by three points. We kick into... Oh, Motlop, silly. Motlop, silly. Oh. Off the ball. He grabbed him round the net. What a mistake. The siren oh. goes. The siren has sounded. It's all over. Darren Creswell, a chance to win the game for the Swans after the siren from just 35 metres. He comes in deliberately. Drop punt for goal. He's kicked it. The Swans have won. What a game of football. The Swans have won by three points. Oh, and they go to Creswell. Reminiscent of that famous preliminary final win over the Bombers. Nine seconds. It is the fairy tale. He will kick the goal and win the game for Fremantle. You mentioned at the start, Ken, that the Fremantle supporters wanted to see the wizard. Yeah. They've seen him a couple of times tonight. Farmer from reverse angle to win the game. He's stuck it in. He celebrates. He jumps into the crowd. Unbelievable. He might never come back. You could not write a better script. King and Hotton winning it down. Camparelli dispossessed. Corey Kilpatrick misses the body with the handball. Now Clark, short ball, got a target. Riccardi. Oh, well. Riccardi has taken the mark inside the 50. It is in good hands. It is in good hands. The I've siren got to tell you. is going to sound, Gary. This shot on goal will be after the siren, and he has to kick it for the Cats to win. There it is. Oh, I'll tell you what. Has there been a more dramatic last quarter of footy? And goals scored after the siren have been invoked. I tell you, this is a massive kick from lots of perspectives. I can't believe this last quarter, boys. It is in goals good hands. On the day for Peter Riccardi, one of the most skilled exponents of the set shot in the game. Let's watch the fate of the match riding on Peter Riccardi. It leaves the boot. It's swinging back. It's oh. from the jaws of defeat at Colonial Stadium. What a finish. I told you they'd win. <laughs> they can't believe that.
Ball falls to Schofield. They get the tag away. Poulton! Oh, and the players around him say, hold it up. And we saw him in the second quarter kick a goal this end. He was about 20 metres out. Very unconvincing. He just jabbed at it. Yeah, I would think him and Matthew Primus, Primus are probably the least two that Port would like to kick the goal. It has been an unbelievable season oh. for shots after the siren. It has been... And you feel for the kid. A, you really do feel a for the monumental kid. season feel for this for kind of climax. You'd love to be there, wouldn't you? You'd love to. This is what you dream of. Step up on the plate, Dermot. <laughs> Every kid in the backyard with the big trees lined up with the footy before Mum calls you in for dinner. The shot for goal after the siren to win it. Jared Poulton, your time has come. Drop part. Your time has come. What a win. Biglands key player in the last minutes of this game. Bickley over the footy. Took a risk there diving on it. Laddams, Collingwood just trying to conjure it away. And they do. Buckley, long ball. We have to say, Collingwood can't lose it now, can they? They could miss everything. <laughs> well, I told you to go. It, it's all down to this. Four quarters of utter heroism from both teams, and it all rests on Chris Tarrant's kick. It is a... Now, 
the decision is when the sign is acknowledged, isn't it? By the umpire, and certainly the umpire hadn't heard it at that stage or didn't acknowledge it. Well, we're right near the sign. Just we were the first to hear. Gee, what a kick this is. Game 144 for Jordan McMahon. This is the biggest kick he's ever had, let alone the biggest kick ever for the Tigers. It's long. It's long! Oh. The Tigers in a thriller on the siren. And they come from everywhere. They might be 12th on the ladder. But pride in the jumper means more than the four points.
They'll be deep again. A mark here will win the game. Podsy Adley couldn't quite it might win the mark for win the game yet Got for Brisbane. Go, big Got himself into a difficult position. Yo. And now Black, who's been so instrumental, about to be hunted down, didn't panic. It was a great kick. Pat full in the centre. We're down to nine seconds. And it's a mark. He's got to get up, Adcock. Had to give to anybody. It's Zorko. Got a mark and he's got it. The milestone man. Siren sounds. And it's going to come down to Ash McGrath. This is better than a fairy tale. You can't dream these scenarios. Ashley McGrath in his 200th game. A behind will create a draw. A goal will give the Lions an incredible victory. Ash McGrath comes in. It's on its way. It's there. Unbelievable! What a win from the Brisbane Lions!